Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing my first ever foundation review and that would be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. So, ito siya. Can you see? Yan, I'm wearing ma messy bun because I just woke up. I have a makeup gig kanina madaling araw and of sure, para ko nwari sexy. Chara! So, ayan, without further ado, let's get on to the review. So, I got mine from SM Baguio and it retails for 399 pesos. Pero, nakita ko, well, I'm browsing my Facebook feed, na sale siya sa Lazada and it's 100 pesos off. Pero, kung ako sa inyo guys, you just buy it on your department store or something kasi makakaswatch kayo talaga kung anong shade kayo. Kasi, all this time, I thought I'm 220, pero I'm actually 228. And this is my shade in soft tan or bronze. King of shoulders. Not damn. Mm. No na ko ako tasi department store. I'm surprised kasi ang liit pala niya compared sa L'Oreal Infallible. Ayan, mas malit siya pero I must say na mas maganda yung packaging kasi it's glass. Pero it's not perfect for traveling ganyan kasi babasagin. And one more thing na napansin ko nang bumili ako sa SM is yung kanyang cap. Ayan. Wala siyang screw or something. Naalala ko nung bumili kasi ako, kumuha ko sa may counter mismo. Siyempre, nag-swatch na ako. And then, I went to the counter mismo ng Maybelline. And I got one of this. Nagulat ako kasi yung sales lady lumapit siya sa akin. And then, told me, Ma'am, anong shade niyo po? Ah, na to po ate, ganyan. And then, sabi niya, Ah, sige ma'am, kuha na ko kayo ng mas bagong stocks. And then, I handed this one, itong itong exact bottle na to, dun sa sales lady. And then, binigyan niya ako ng newer one daw. And then, bigla akong nag-doubt kasi when I got it, rinay kong in-open yung cap. And then, I saw, nag-grabe guys, like, Imagine this, ito yung mas maayos, mas matino, pero yung binigay niya sa akin kalat hanggang sa gilid sa perimeters ng cap. And then dun ko na-realize na guys, be careful kasi yun lang yung cheeky dito kasi wala siyang seal or something, kahit yung sticker sana. Pero how I wish meron siyang seal or something kasi nga hindi ka naman mabibigyan ng guarantee na bago yung nabuksan mo kaya mamaya nagamit na pala or something. Pero anyways, I like the packaging, it's sleek and cute and classy for me. And you can see the shade pero we'll see if it will oxidize or not. So this foundation claims to mattify and refine pores, match your natural tone, give a natural and seamless finish, and mattify at cover all pores. <laughs> translate pala siya. So, this product contains 30 mils. And okay na din kasi yun yung regular na laman talaga ng mga foundation. So, let's start with the review. But first, I'm gonna zoom in. So, ayan. As you can see, ito yung face ko ngayon. Meron akong pimple marks. Ayan. And then, my pores. Ah, talaga naman pumaputok. And also, veins. So, let's see if okay yung performance ng foundation na to in terms of coverage and longevity. So, I'm gonna use a sponge on the right side of my face and a kabuki brush for the left side of my face para makita nyo yung application niya sa face ko. One thing I don't like about this foundation as well is wala siyang pump. As in, yan na siya. Yan na siya. And you have to pour it at the back of your hand. And for me, it's very unhygienic. Kasi ilalabas yung product. Tapos, pag may sober, hindi na siya mababali. Kasi syempre, ba may contact na and the microbes may go. So anyways, for hygienic purposes, dito ko siya i-dispense sa aking silly sponge. Saka ko siya ipupunta sa aking face. So let's start on the right side of my face. By the way, I just used the Aqua Eye White Moisturizer. Very famous na eye white. It is water-based so yung maapektuhan yung formula ng foundation. I'm not gonna use any primer kasi syempre, if ever na everyday use to and you're a student, sayang naman ka magpa-primer ka mahal. Mahal. For me, siguro sa'yo, if mayaman ka, go. Primer, pack. By the way, first time kong gamitin tong foundation na to kaya talagang oh my god, hindi ko alam. Hindi ko madami. Ang messy niya guys kasi wala siyang pump. Okay pa sana kung squeezable too but it's not. So ayan. As you can see, the foundation is quite runny pero hindi naman siya super runny. Like a BB cream. Yung mga garni BB cream. So I'm gonna start with the right side of my face. Instead of using directly the silly sponge, I'm just gonna use my finger to like dot the product on my face. And then blend it with a sponge.
So that's one layer of the foundation using a sponge. And nakikita ko guys na okay naman yung coverage niya. Except that hindi niya natakpan yung aking pimple marks. Hindi masyado pero okay na din. Parang na-cancel out niya ng slide yung kaitiman ng aking pimple mark. And the finish is quite dewy pero hindi siya super, super dewy. Medyo taki pa rin siya sa feeling pero tolerable. Kaya rin naman. Ganyan ko na ganyan, mamaya ubos na siya. So next naman is, I'm gonna use a brush for the left side of my face. Using my finger again to dot the product. Sorry, ang dugit kong maglagay ng foundation sa face. As I was applying using the brush, wala naman siyang specific na scent. So as you can see, mas maganda yung coverage using a brush. Tapos parang na-blend yun ang mabuti yung product. That's my face. Happy na ako sa coverage, pero mayroon pa kasing sobrang sa sila sponge. And ayaw ko siyang ibalik sa product. So I'm gonna try to do another layer of both sides of my I'm just gonna conceal my under eye. Tignan natin kung kaya niyang i-conceal ang darkness dahil hindi ako natulog. Kasi I had a makeup geek kaninang madaling araw. And instead of sleeping, nanood ako ng Shopaholic Louie. Perfect! Ayan! Oh my God! As you can see guys, buildable yung coverage niya. Kasi natakpan niya talaga yung darkness ng under eye ko eh. Nice one eh. Then, Ayan, ang galing! So, nakita nyo na natakpan naman yung under eye ko with the second layer. Pero feeling ko yung consistency ng foundation. Ang reason kaya kahit magdagdag ka pa ng ilang layers, hindi siya nagkikake sa face mo. Pero let's see later if Carrie Bell siya. So, yan yung itsura ng foundation sa akin, guys. And now, we're gonna have to do a flash test. Let's see kung magkakaroon ng white cast or hindi. I'm just gonna turn off the lights. So, ito yung photo na nakuha. And I'm surprised kasi wala talaga siyang white cast except that it didn't match my neck area kasi medyo dark talaga yung neck area ko. I think I'm gonna have put foundation on my neck and let's take another picture. So as you can see, okay na siya and mas gumanda nga yung dating niya sa face ko kasi nag-blend na siya sa neck and on this part of my body. And now I'm gonna set my face with powder and I'm gonna use this Fashion 21 Loose Setting Powder in number 1. First, I'm gonna have to set my neck kasi baka may mag-transfer siya sa dadamig ko. And now that I set my powder with face, nakipansin ko na mas okay na yung feeling ng foundation. It feels light. Surprisingly, parang wala akong suot na foundation. And maganda siya sa face in fairness. Ayan o. No? And now I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'll be back for my first check-in. And I'm back with my makeup on. As you can see, simple na makeup lang yung ginawa ko. And of course, how can I resist my highlighter? Ayan. Naglagay ako ng highlighter sa cheeks and then on my nose line and of course on my brow bone. So if later, huwag kayong makonfuse if it's oily or not kasi it's just highlighter. Di ba, I'm just gonna inform you guys if naging oily ako throughout the day. But before that, I'm gonna do my first check-in. And the time now is 12.50 and mag-check-in ulit ako later. I'm just gonna go for lunch. And we'll see if the foundation will hold on to my face. Hindi siya mahulas and if it's perfect for everyday. But right now, I'm loving it. And napansin ko na habang ina-apply ko yung aking makeup, mas lalong gumaganda sa mata ko yung foundation. I don't know if it's the powder or what. Pero it's good. I I like it. Ayun, I'll be back on my next check-in. And good night. Hi guys, I'm back with a review. And the time now is... 6 p.m. Ayan, exactong 6 p.m. and almost 5 hours has passed. I don't know, okay ba yung foundation ko? Mm. Mm. 
Let's see a glance. Wow, guys, kung nandito lang kayo sa akin, sa akin. Kung nandito lang kayo ngayon sa tabi ko, I feel like kaka-apply ko lang ng foundation ko and my makeup. Ang lipstick ko super nag-fade out na siya. Iniwan na niya ako but the foundation is still here. God, I'm surprised. Oh my God, 400 pesos. So, para wear kayo for the past 5 hours, uh, I went for lunch, I went to meet a friend, I went grocery shopping, and tignan nyo naman, nagpawis ako kanina sa grocery kasi sobrang init sa New City. My God! Look at me! My God! Pwede ba ako mag-photoshoot like, like, mm, 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 mm. Perfect! Ang ganda! Ang ganda! Pero syempre, it's just 5 hours. Super short period of time pa yun para mag-judge. So, to test if I'm oily or not, I don't know. Kasi hindi ko naman nafe-feel. The foundation is still lightweight on my skin. I'm gonna use blotting shit from Momoso. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wala na. Sayang na yung dalawa. Be. Oh, no, no, no. no. Gamitin natin siya dahil taghirap sa Pilipinas. Ayan, i-fold na lang natin. Ayan, so... May love and hate relationship ako dito kasi sobrang nipis niya. Tapos, as in like, napupunit. As in, nakita niyo kanina, super napupunit siya. Pero, at the same time, kapag nag-blot ako, like, at times na hindi ako nakapag-blot for hours, as in, may nakukuha siya. As in, sa itsura niyang to, may nakukuha siya. Nagda, nagda. Siyempre guys, ang awkward naman yung pakita nung punit na blotting sheet. Pero still, I'm gonna show it to you. Ito lang yung amount na nakuha ng aking blotting sheet. Ito lang talaga siya. And, hindi kita sa camera, but, ayan, may nag-transfer na foundation, pero very minimal lang. For me, hindi naman big deal yung transfer yung foundation, kasi of course, like foundation, pinatong mo lang yan, brunosh, sponge, and everything. Don't expect na magsising in siya sa pores more as maging blackheads yan. Okay, okay? As of now, yung oil control, I'm loving it. Poreless, that I don't know, kasi yung sa poreless, kita naman na yung pores ko, pero one thing that I've noticed is that kahit nakita yung pores, hindi siya nag-emphasize ng pores. I mean, kasi it claims to refine pores. That's why I'm expecting na parang primer siya, na it can fill in my pores and all. Pero it's okay, it's fine with me as long as it's matte. And the longevity, my God, 5 hours and I still look good. I mean, I'm gonna continue with this review. And tignan natin, maybe 8 hours, ganyan. Let's check if ganito pa rin yung itsura ng face ko after how many more hours. But before that, I'm gonna retouch with my Fashion 21 powder. Same pa din, guys. Yeah, I'm all good again. So yeah, I'm gonna check in, guys. It's now 6.07 in the evening. And I'll be back later for my last check-in and my final thoughts on this foundation. Hello, guys. So I'm now back for my final check-in. Time now is... 9.40. So, ngayon, actually, bedroom voice na ako kasi super inaantok na ako but I still need to film this part of the video because this is the most important one. So, what can you say about my foundation? Yung lipstick ko super nag-retouch na lang talaga. Nakakayanan para wag mukha naman lang presentable sa harap nyo. But right now, ito na yung na ng aking foundation. Ayun na. Nakita ko na na super oily na ng part na to. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman. Ng part na to, T-zone, of the cheek area. I'm pretty sure that it's not because of the highlight. Kasi my highlight is just on this part. Tapos ito yung shiny. That's why feel ko talaga oil na. Ayan, so to double check the amount of oil on my face, I'm gonna use again my Mumuso Blatting Sheet. Antok na antok na ako, pero ito parang hirap ng mga unclothes, ng mga anak kay kapag nag-review ng foundation. So ito yung amount ng oil sa aking face. And as you can see, Sobrang oily ko na. Nung nakita ko yung blotting sheet, parang bigla ko na nga tayo na maghilamos agad-agad. Pero the feeling is still the same, guys. Lightweight siya except you. I can feel the oiliness of my face. Tapos yung pores ko medyo na-emphasize na halata talagang nahulas na yung foundation. So kanina, on my check-in sa 5th hour, I must say, the same pa rin ang thoughts ko on this foundation and it's really good. Although it doesn't claim that it has a long-lasting wear, I still think that 8 hours is pretty good. For me, lalo na ang dami kong ginawang errands today. And, and lalo na at oily ako kahit dito sa bag yung malamig ang temperature. So ayan guys, I'm just gonna retouch for a bit and I'll be back for my final review. And guys, I'm back. So, nagpowder lang ako ng face, my lipstick. For my final thoughts, first yung price. For the amount of 400 pesos. Para sa akin, sulit na yun kasi the foundation is pretty good. And for me, it is really worth the price. Knowing na 400 pesos lang siya compared to L'Oreal Infallible, I can say that to Maybelline Fit Me na to, may maibubuga talaga siya. Well, for the longevity, I just wore it for 8 hours. So, I'm not sure if beyond that, maganda pa yung foundation. Pero during the 8 hour, okay pa yung foundation ko. Except that I I'm already oily. 
Pero syempre, hindi na yun mawala sa face ko. Siguro if you're a person with a normal skin, feeling ko tatagal pa ng ilang hours, more than 8 hours yung foundation, and it will still look pretty good. For the coverage, I must say that it has a light to medium coverage. And one thing I like about it, it is buildable. Siguro na din dahil thin yung consistency ng foundation, I am able to build it up with the coverage that I want to. In short, I think that this foundation is perfect for everyday use or daily use. Kasi natural yung finish niya, hindi siya masyadong makapal sa face. And it looks like your second skin. In terms of accessibility naman, before I think this foundation is really 0 out of 5 in terms of accessibility kasi wala siya sa Philippines. Now, that Fit Me is in the Philippines, I think it is very accessible. Alot maraming nagkalat na SM Department Store. Siyempre, except sa probinsya, okay, mga barrio-barrio. Pero, once na makita mo yung Maybell and Fit Me Foundation sa mga counter sa department store, maraming shades ang available because on my case, I was able to swatch uh, 10 foundations and yun yung available sa Philippines but I'm not sure sa ibang branches pero sa SM Baguio merong 10. So, if you're gonna ask me if this foundation is worth buying, of course it is. Because for the price, I will rate it 4 out of 5. For the longevity, mga 3.8 out of 5. For the coverage, kahit medyo light to medium coverage siya, I want to give it a 4 out of 5. Just because I prefer something that looks natural at hindi yung sobrang kapal na foundation. And that's it guys. I hope I was able to help you as I give my review and stand on this foundation right here. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed every minute of it. And syempre, if you want to see more of my reviews, makeup tutorials, and even more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching!